Okay, so I'm going to talk now about uh, how to create a sprint and how to move on from one sprint to another. So if you go on to the backlog view, what you will see um, is your tickets organized by sprint. Um, so this is the current sprint and it lets you know we've got a whole lot of issues in it. Um, and you can edit them and delete them from here. Um, here's the sprint that we anticipate after the current sprint that we're on. So we have um, a, a functionality where we're gonna pull in social reviews for a business from a variety of, of different sources. And so that sprint is devoted to that. And as you can see, um, it has the sprint goal here um, so that you can kind of map out what you would like to see happen um, during your sprint. Down here, uh, underneath all your sprints, you can create a new sprint. And it'll just take the previous sprint name, add a two to it, and, and put it here. Um, what you can do is you can edit the sprint, and you can rename it to whatever you like, and you can write the sprint goal. Uh, now keep in mind a sprint is a discrete length of time, uh, typically two weeks. Um, it's not necessarily, uh, we don't always know what exactly is going to fit into a two week period. Uh, we can give our best guess and we can have an aim, uh, but JIRA understands that reality happens. Uh, not every uh, ticket gets done in the sprint that you plan it to. And I'll show you how JIRA handles that in a second. Uh, but you do wanna have a goal in mind um, whether it's some new features you want to create um, or product stabilization, so fixing bugs or a combination of both. So that's how we create new sprints. And then you can take um, issues that are in your backlog. Um, and so your, your backlog are issues um, that have not yet been assigned to a specific point in time. So these are things that we want to do, but we haven't planned out exactly when we're going to do them. You can simply drag these into the sprint that you want them to go into. And so that is how you can quickly, um, for the active sprint, um, show all the tickets that you've, you've drug into a sprint. So as you can see here with our currently active sprint, it is overdue. Um, so it was supposed to have ended August 31st. Unfortunately, you know, it, it hasn't. Um, so we need to go ahead and complete this sprint uh, because a sprint is a length of time, not necessarily what you intended to accomplish during it. So you can hit complete sprint and it'll say, hey, um, you did a lot of, a lot of the issues are done. Uh, 50 of them weren't. What should we do with the ones that aren't done? So you can either move them to the backlog, you know, in, in, to be done at some later date, or you can put them into another sprint or a brand new sprint. Um, and so this way JIRA can automatically transfer over um, tickets that weren't done in the time that you anticipated that they were done. And so um, as I described, the way I've set up the columns, that's going to apply to every sprint. So when you complete a sprint and move on to the next, all the issues that are in that, that new sprint uh, will be, you know, will have these columns available. So you don't have to set this up, you know, every time.